Yankees fans, you have gone one. Yankees fans, you have gone two. Yankees fans, you have gotten three. Yankees fans, wow, you have gotten four videos as of today. Because I don't like to leave you guys hanging. I like to give you my input. This is why I don't do podcasts. Yes, I've done a few here and there. But people prefer videos by themselves for some reason. So Yankees fans, we can all agree that we don't see Gary Sanchez as a long-term solution as catcher on his team. We have to be crazy to think that Gary Sanchez, for his full career, <laughs> just listen to how that sounds, is going to be a catcher. Folks, even the NY Daily News is writing articles now that the Yankees should be concerned about Gary Sanchez's injury history because we all know last year he got injured. He took, what, a month to return? Now this year, possibly going to be a month or two months, Brian Cashman confirmed on Bruce Beck's uh, television show on NBC today. I missed it. If you guys have a copy, uh, paste it in the comment section below. But he said that Gary Sanchez is 100% going on the DL. And it might be close to two months. So Yankees fans, I know for a fact we can all agree on this. Gary Sanchez long-term on the New York Yankees cannot be a catcher. He cannot. Gary Sanchez is really turning into Greg Bird. But there's a difference with that statement. Gary Sanchez is proven on the major league level. Greg Bird, uh, not so much. We even know David Ortiz played first base here and there. He's even a World Series champion rotating between first and DH. Why can't Gary Sanchez do the same? It's just inevitable that Gary Sanchez has to be moved to first base. He is not built to catch a full season, yet alone catch about 25 to 35% of the season without getting injured. Yes, Gary Sanchez is becoming injury prone. I know he doesn't look like a player that is injury prone, but history shows that Gary Sanchez has been injured for, let's say, you know, the first time it happened for a full month and now possibly two months. So here's the Save Gary Sanchez campaign. Transition him to first base. Take advantage of Gary Sanchez being out. Take advantage of Gary Sanchez making trips to the minor leagues. Take advantage of Gary Sanchez not having the option of being demoted to AAA because he's out of options. If anything, this was a godsend to the Yankees, to Gary Sanchez. To reflect back and say, hmm, I don't know, man. Is Gary our long-term solution at catcher? Folks, have you noticed when people bring up Gary Sanchez's name, the last two seasons, it's all been negative. Gary Sanchez is lazy. Gary Sanchez is this and that. Gary Sanchez doesn't run on balls. Gary Sanchez is not hitting. Gary this, Gary that, Gary this, Gary that, Gary, 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 Gary. Gary let another ball pass him. Gary, 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 Gary. It's like a turkey gobbling at this point. Gary, gobble, gobble, Gary, Gary. Everything that has to do with Gary Sanchez, to be honest with you, more than 50% has been negative about Gary Sanchez. Period. It's been negative press of Gary Sanchez for the last two seasons. Gary doesn't know how to block balls. The former hitting coach of the Yankees said, Gary Sanchez is lazy. Gary Sanchez this, Gary Sanchez that. You know what the fix to that is, folks? We all know Gary Sanchez is an excellent offensive player. Move him to first base because obviously DH is occupied by John Carlos Stanton, but you can't transition them. Have Gary play first base. Have Gary DH. Have John Carlos DH. Have John Carlos Stanton play left field. It's easy, easy solution. It just comes down to if the Yankees want to keep Greg Bird. It just comes down to if the Yankees are creative enough to make it work. It comes down to who's worth more to you, Gary Sanchez or Greg Bird. It's obvious that Gary Sanchez cannot last playing as a catcher, period. If he's plugged at first base, we might see Gary Sanchez be Gary Sanchez, yeah. We might see him go on a tear. Being a catcher takes a toll on your body, and Gary Sanchez is not built to be a long-term catcher. So here's my real honest opinion. My real honest opinion before JT Riamato lands on a team that's in competition with the Yankees and really hurts them. 
I think the Yankees should target JT Realmuto for the simple fact he's under control for the next three years. He hits for average. He gets hits close to a 200 per season hitter, projected, 150 to 180, okay? Great defensively, one of the best defensive catchers in all of baseball. So if it's a choice between Greg Bird and Gary Sanchez, who do you pick? Yeah, we're all going to pick Gary Sanchez because he has a proven track record. And he can't last. Come on, folks, let's be realistic. He can't last as a catcher. Sure, he has a cannon arm, but we all see it's taking a toll on his body. Yankees fans, for crying out loud, the Yankees targeted and signed Chris Carter for crying out loud to play first base for them. You going to tell me that Gary Sanchez can't be plugged over there at first base? I mean, he's a character for crying out loud. I'm pretty sure he can track the ball better as a first baseman. Scoop up balls better than a first baseman. He has the whiff of the body. It'll be easier for Gary Sanchez where he's not squatting down 24-7, all that weight on his calves. Really, folks. Really, really, it takes a toll on Gary Sanchez, and we're seeing that. It's for the benefit of Gary Sanchez if he wants to last on the New York Yankees. Plug him at first, and if you can't target it, JT Riamato before another team in contention gets him and really hurts you. He might be the equivalent of Justin Verlander, the offensive equivalent where a team acquires him and he just gets on a rampage and carries a team to the World Series. Who knows, man? Who knows? I'm just saying... The Yankees catching situation with Gary Sanchez long term is not going to work out. And if one of the best catchers is available this deadline and you could have him build him as a franchise catcher in JT Rimalto, you do it. Opportunities like this aren't going to come in, let's say, three years when he's a free agent. If you could get him now, make a deal, man. Get creative. Ship out Greg Bird if you had to. It, like I said, it's a choice between Bird and Sanchez. Who do you prefer better? Sanchez, right? So that's my opinion. We can all agree on one thing, Yankees fans. We're a family, right? But we all agree that long-term, Gary Sanchez as a catcher on the New York Yankees is not possible, okay? And if you have the chance, and you have the chance to trade for one of the best catchers in all of Major League Baseball, and you have the pieces, why not? And you still get to keep Gary Sanchez on your team. Period. Oh my, it makes absolutely great sense. Period. Period. Hey, Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.